Welcome back, my friend. And this is going to be um, somewhat of an experimental haul video. Uh, I have a very, very short haul in front of you. I went to Salvation Army yesterday. I only have three pieces. So tomorrow I'm going to Unique. I hope to bring back a little bit more, hopefully a lot of hard goods. And I may be going out Tuesday. Uh, as you may or may not know, I'm filming this on Sunday. Tomorrow is Labor Day, Monday. So um, hopefully um, there won't be too many people out in the thrift store. But what I'm going to do is film this really short. Uh, go to Unique tomorrow, weather permitting, and uh, pick up some things and then merge the two videos and possibly a third video, which would be consignment because I am planning on going to consignment this week. All right, so let's get started. Um, I'm going to hold these up. Hopefully you can get a good view. I went to Salvation Army yesterday. The total came to $22.29. That's about $7 and some change. $7 and some change cost of goods. I don't like that, but I got a couple of pieces that I think are going to do very well. Um, first, let me show you this uh, NBA. Michael, well, it's not really Michael Jordan. It's an NBA uh, jacket on court, I think they call it off court or on court jacket. And this is, um, it's got all these logos, Adidas is there, uh, NBA logo, and this is Chicago Bulls. If you can see the bull there, and then you turn it around and uh, you've got NBA again. All right, so um, I priced this and it's running about 30 or $40 now. The problem is there is a little tear right here. And I'm gonna to have to mention that um, in, the, um, in the listing. I paid $13 for this, $13, $14. Uh, but I just, you know, it was very striking. You know, I just thought, oh, wow. And I don't think anyone would mind if there's a little bit of tear, it can be mended. Um, so we'll see uh, if this sells or not. I think I can take it to the consigner if it takes too long to sell or I get some kind of blowback about it. I can probably consign, this, consign it. I may end up mending that tear myself. All right, this was the lowest price. This was 99 cents. This is Juicy Couture. And there is the label. A large size, 99 cents. Fairly attractive. Uh, once again, it's something I can take to consignment if it doesn't sell online. And as I, as I source these items, especially clothing, in fact, mainly clothing, um, I'm looking, you know, I'm thinking to myself, well, if it doesn't sell online, if it's taking too long, can I take it to Crossroads or Buffalo Exchange or, you know, something like that? And um, so that's how I'm really uh, judging a lot of these clothings that I'm getting. Okay, this was about a $5 item. This is Lisette. I don't know if you're familiar with that name. I'm going to show you the tag. It's um, Lisette, and uh, I have sold these pants. Every time I, I, I have uh, sourced them, uh, I have, they sell. They sell very well. So this is about a $30 to $40 a pair of pants, uh, but online her pants sell for as high as um, $80 and $90. Lisette, and then mainly stretch pants, um, and they have all of this hardware, you know, the zippers and the pockets and things like that. Okay, so that's the end of this video. And I'm going to uh, quit right now. And I'll see you on the other side. Hello, everybody. And we are back. This is part two of uh, a series of videos I'm going to put together. And they're going to be one. 
This is going to be very short. I was at Out of the Closet today, and today is Sunday. And I picked up four items. The total came to $4.47, so that's about, um, I don't know, dollar ten average, I guess, somewhere in that range. And um, red was their color for a dollar. And I also got something in here for $1.50. They have a rack of $1.50 items, and they also have color tags, uh, which are a dollar or 50% off. First, I just want to show you this one item, which is a pajama bottom. All right, this is for my brother. I'm collecting lounge uh, parts for him, <laughs> pajamas and lounge items for him because he... Um, as I mentioned in the last um, video, he's a lounger like me. He likes to sit at home, watch TV when he can, and uh, he's in his pajamas. So this was a dollar. Uh, this is Universal Standard. This was a dollar fifty, and uh, this is the second pair of Universal Standard that I collected. And I don't know how well this is going to work out because the first one. I'm getting a lot of views, but I'm not getting a sale. So let me show you this tag, Universal Standard. So, uh, but I've heard very good things about this brand uh, that is a very popular brand. So we'll see, maybe, um, maybe it'll start selling because the other pair of pants I've had for a couple of months now. And this is, um, uh, J. Crew Mercantile, it's just a basic shirt. Okay, nothing to write home about. It is a slim fit. You can see there's a red tag. Let me see if I can straighten this up. Okay, there's a red tag. And the print is pretty nice. Um, it's something I can take to the consigners and uh, get a couple of bucks for, a little bit more. But I'm going to uh, put this online myself first, as I always do, and uh, see if I can get a sale. Because um, for a dollar, as I've said time and time again, I can start a very low amount at the auction. Or I can go to Posh, and I think the lowest you can sell something is $5. So I would probably set a very low amount uh, to sell it. Uh, this is American Eagle. They're, they're ripped. They're distressed. They're torn apart. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe this. I mean, it is really, really funky. Okay, those are the uh, pockets. I'm showing you, trying to give you a tour. Uh, these are the pockets. This was a dollar. And... Uh, uh, I did have a pair of American Eagle pants that were, let me zip this up, sorry, that were, I think they were paper bag pants or joggers, I'm not sure. And they sold pretty fast. So I will see if this is a fast seller. And again, it's one of those brands that the consigners like. And uh, for a dollar, it should uh, sell fairly quick. All right, well, that's it uh, for this second part of the video. And we will continue on with more. And as I mentioned at the very beginning, we're going to put them all together into one. All right, bye-bye. Good morning. We have glorious sunshine in Chicago, and I am videotaping this uh in front of my blinds so i hope everything turns out okay um i'm planning on going to the buy sell trade consignment buffalo exchange this week and uh these are items that are personal items they're items that i bought a, a year six months ago and they're not moving they're not selling uh, i think most of you who have followed me know that i'm doing a clear out <laughs> and uh I just want some things out of my closet. All right, so uh, let's start. Uh, this is Ralph Lauren RLX 
polo shirt. And I really thought this would sell. I looked at the comps when I uh, bought it. And I think I paid about 5 or $6 for this way too much. And the comps were very good. They were moving quite fast on eBay. But I cannot sell this. It's not getting views. No one's looking at it. Really nice shirt. So if they don't accept it, then I'll just bring it back and have a fire sale. You know, put it on eBay for as low as I possibly can. I think that would be about $1.99. Uh, personal item. I think you guys saw this on my last video. Cable and gauge. Uh, I'm not wearing it. I don't want it. So let's see if uh, Buffalo Exchange will accept it. Here's another one. I don't wear it. I don't want it. Jimi Hendrix t-shirt. I think I paid about $15 for this. All right. Um, soft surroundings. At one time I was buying soft surroundings. And they, their products, their, their clothing was selling like hot case. And now there's like a tri trickle. I don't even know if it's, you would call it a trickle, maybe molasses. It's just not selling. So I, I think soft surroundings just fell out of favor for whatever reason. But I paid about $6 for this way too much looking back. So uh, if they don't accept it, then I will... Uh, I will do a fire sale, sell it for as low as I possibly can. Um, now this I showed you in my last consignment video, this purse, convertible. I'm hoping that they will accept it because it does have a backpack strap and it is convertible and they're fairly popular. Okay, this is a personal item. Lee Classic Jeans. I'm not wearing it. I don't want it. Somebody take it. <laughs> uh, and finally, pretty little things. I took this to Crossroads and uh, let me see if I can get this up for you. I took this to Crossroads. They denied, rejected it. So, um, because Buffalo is seasonless, they, they, they have winter clothes on their racks and it's summertime in Chicago. So because they're seasonless, I'm hoping that, and there's the tag, it's brand new. I paid $10 for this. Uh, season, because they're seasonless and they take clothing all year round, I'm hoping that they will um, accept this. And it's going to be a loss, but, you know, so be it. All right, so that's it. This is video number three. And uh, if anything sells, of course, I'll let you know. Uh, if, I, if you would, just uh, hit the thumbs up, the like button on your way out. And I really appreciate everybody stopping by and seeing what I'm doing as a part-time reseller and, you know, my uh, trials and tribulations <laughs> as I go through this. Um, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.